Hello, you are watching G Cafe Pro TV, and I'm your host, Dave. Welcome to our very first episode where I am going to walk you through on how to install G Cafe Pro on your cafe server. But what is G Cafe Pro? It is a software that makes installation and updates of all the games in your cafe easier and faster. So updates and patching can now be automated in just one click. You will notice that there are process tabs located at the lower left portion of the screen. You may click any of the tabs in case you miss some of the steps in this video. Before installing GCafe Pro for your server, we recommend a clean install of Windows for the workstations that you'll be using. Complete the formatting process and installation of Windows. Your PC will restart and setup will continue after reboot. After successfully installing Windows, we can now continue with the installation for GCafe Pro. But before everything else, you'll need to know which version of Windows Service Pack you're running. If you're running Service Pack 1, you'll have to upgrade to Service Pack 2, then to Service Pack 3. After upgrading your Windows Service Pack to its latest version, you can now install .NET. Just follow the instructions to install and you're almost good to go. After installing .NET, you'll be restarting your PC. You can then install Visual C++ and Microsoft's XML parser. The installation requirements is now complete. After this process, your server will now be more stable. And now, we can install GCafe Pro. But before that, after installing all the necessary files for Windows, along with your hardware's drivers and other softwares needed for your server, you can proceed to installing GCafe Pro. But first, you'll have to prepare your hard drive. To do this, go to Windows Disk Management Panel and create a new partition. After making your partition, you can now proceed to installing GCafe Pro. Open the GCafe Pro installer and follow the instructions. After installation, you can now run your GCafe Pro application. Take note of your connection to GCafe Pro services when running the application. This should be marked as authenticated. At the Resources Download Center, you should be able to see the available online games. You can now select a game to be downloaded to your GCafe server. During your first run, you'll be asked to define your default download path. When using GCafe Pro to download a game, you'll be able to monitor your progress. All downloaded games can be found under Local Installed Games at the left side of your GCafe Pro installation.
and that is where the installation of GCAFE Pro on your CAFE server ends. On our next episode, we will be discussing on how to install GCAFE Pro on your CAFE workstations or clients. Stay tuned!